What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Go check out the website, sign up. We got great forums going on there. Um, it's free. All you got to do is hit the join now, whatsupinthesky.com. And today I'm going to be sending some homage and some uh, appreciation to my buddy Rory. He's uh, been sending me stuff. He goes by the name Raw Spirit. Um, he's on Facebook. I, I met him through here, YouTube, Facebook. Um, and, and every once in a while I like to do this for various guys because they, I think they do great work. There's so many people on Facebook. I mean, I can sit here and name tons of them that, that put these pictures out and they put like their little logo on them and everything. And they're part of a group. And I'm going to go ahead and I'll link some of this stuff below. Check it out. If you're on Facebook, join these groups. Um, I'll, I'll link the Mars, Moon, Space one, as well as the uh, exclusive Mars pictures and stuff like that. All those ones. A um, whole bunch of good stuff going on. So check this out. Um, this thing's pretty cool. From the first time I saw it, this thing just looks to be cut out. Whatever it is, seems to be part of something. It comes down forward. He's got some views in here he does. This is what I like about when they do these kind of things. Because it's like, I, I sometimes when I have time, I do them. But I always try and put like the uh, enhanced versions on the website at least. I don't get the chance to make, you know, I make the videos. So I don't get to make these things. But this is pretty cool how he does this. And then check this one out over here. And as always, I'm going to show you where you can get them from because I want you to know they did come directly from NASA. Here's the one piece down here as well as right here. Don't worry about this. All you got to do, if you want to link it, hit the description. If you're not on YouTube, if you're on like Facebook or something, hit the YouTube button at the bottom. and uh, It'll take you there. Hit the description, and you can go ahead and download these directly from NASA. You don't have to mess around with it. So let's go check these things out in Photoshop. I already got it brought up and enhanced it a little bit. And I'll show you the difference in the enhancement. This is how it came from NASA. Here it is enhanced. And this is pretty cool. It looks like it's got some rounded off cylinder piece at the top. Um, comes down here with almost a, uh, a really sharp angle so you can see it's kind of rounded off it's a shame there's a little bit of a blur mark through here but as you see it comes back around it seems to have some interesting little pieces in it and it comes up and you can see how the shadow comes down like so it's done pretty perfect pretty interesting stuff here now check out this side over here it comes down comes around now getting in this close you start really seeing some interesting things and you don't know if you're getting into jpeg artifacts or not so it's hard to tell at this resolution but you can see look at the uh look at the markings here that are in this these definitely don't look like jpeg artifacts they're uh they're beautiful shapes some of the little spears right here to come around and even on it when you get up closer to it it looks pretty interesting almost looks like a little baby track under it here um, sometimes you don't know if that could be some JPEG artifacts, but look at this stuff. I mean, all sorts of interesting things on here too. Check up here. This looks like a little, uh, a basin or something flipped over. So it, there's all, this whole picture's got stuff. Check this out. What in the world is that? Let me flip that back over to how it came. When I usually, I put my stuff on it to kind of see how it brings a lot of the shadows in. I should actually show you this again large without the shadows because you can really see that this stuff is in there it's pretty cool um this got a box down on this edge of it it looks to be worked and even over to here it looks to be worked the whole piece down even in here it kind of looks like whatever it is just sitting there buried under the martian sand and you know, god knows how long it's been there that's that's what i just love to know um if you've watched my channel enough, I think you understand that maybe not everything I've shown is exactly artifacts. But like I say, I see what I see, you see what you see. Um, check this out. Look at whatever is on top of this. has some really interesting geometry and shape to it. And then we're getting into the top image where it starts getting scrambled up. But pretty cool down through here. Look at this piece right here in the same, uh, same one. And when you look at these rocks and stuff like that or stones, it looks like something was just destroyed here on Mars. And, you know... Whether some people see this stuff and see life teeming still there, you know, and I, I don't want to sit here and say otherwise. I just, I see this stuff and say it is what it is. Whatever it is, something was there at one time. Whether it still is, um, who knows? Stuff can go underground. I, uh, if anything, I just do speculation when I'm sitting here going through these videos. So pretty cool stuff. Look at this. Check out the, uh, how this comes down. It's almost like a snake coming off of here winding up like that um very interesting i wonder if that was carved like that or if that's actually something coming off up here it could be a mineral from the water that did it but uh, very interesting or it could just be really dark right here let's see this 
Yeah, you brighten it up a little bit. It's just too dark how I, how I actually put it out. But look at that. That's still pretty interesting. And after the wear and tear of whatever this stuff was underwater, I'd imagine, um, after a cataclysm or something happened, if the, you know, there's still traces of uh, water and traces of stuff that we've shown here on my channel. Uh, we've shown all, you know, many people have shown. What's this thing down here? Check that out. Kind of cool. So that's sticking out. But what in the world is this little thing right there? That's pretty cool. What, whatever that is. Wow. I must say that does look like a statue or something. Look, it looks like a beak. Dan, I'm not going like, to... I see what I see. You see what you see. This looks like a beak here of an animal. It looks like two eyes looking up like this. And I'm sure... And then right over here, this is interesting. Let me flip back to how it came from NASA. Look how close the river is. This over here looks like a big beetle looking thing. Looking back over here with hind legs here. An arm, and here would be his face with the big unsmiley face. And I think that's how a lot of times when uh, this could just be the rock, and you know, you could go take pictures of your sand and see this stuff. A lot of people say, but that's just interesting. Pretty cool. Either way, it's awesome. Whatever it is. So either way, we're taking a look at a whole other planet. If we're on a whole other planet, like I said, I'm still not 100% convinced that these things are on Mars. You know. We could take we've taken pictures from the satellite. It'd have to be a huge, huge, huge undertaking to scam this stuff. So, I uh, I do want to hope that they're there, but who knows? Check this little piece out as well. We haven't even gotten through one of them yet, and these things still pretty cool. This was a good find, Rory. I uh, definitely enjoy this one. It just looks like bits and pieces of stuff. I can't like I said we find this stuff on Earth too. You know, it does not. When you find it, you usually find it with other pieces. So you'd imagine a bunch of broken up stuff to be together with shapes like this piece right here. You would imagine you'd see it next to something like that. And then you have that little rounded off shape up there. Maybe this stuff was all together. Maybe this was the advertising sign for like the place that the old Martians got drunk at. Who knows? All right, let's check out this other one. All right, what we got here. Now, this could just be from the water, something like that, from... It definitely looks like there's a lot of sediment around, but whatever is pretty cool. It's formed itself a little arm looking thing, and it actually looks like it might have some. Let me take off the uh, see how it came from NASA. It's very light right there. I don't know if that's because it's getting a different something, but see how it kind of looks like it. It almost looks like it's something growing up out of there. It's a different color, or like something sitting there staring at it. Um, check back through here. That's pretty interesting as well. Let's see how Rory had this out on his. Where is it? Right here. Yeah, he showed the whole thing. And especially from that angle. It's whatever it is. It's definitely interesting. It almost looks like a pipe coming around that way. But uh, let's check out the rest of the pictures. See what else we see. Those little circles. This was definitely underwater. You could tell that the whole area was um, I think mean, I it's so funny how NASA acts like they didn't know. Oh, we didn't know all the stuff. It's all coming out now, the water and everything. All the stuff that comes out on the news, we've been talking about for a long time. And I'm not just talking about me. A lot of people have been saying this stuff. Um, and it's slowly coming out. We haven't seen, really, we're just beginning to scratch the surface. Eventually, someone's going to have to admit what the, uh, the weather patterns are there. Totally, uh, they've totally been wrong. <laughs> And what they haven't shown, but slowly check this out. Now, this doesn't look like pixelation to me because it looks like this is actually in the picture. Because look at the pattern. It's not going this way. It's not going up. It's not going down. This looks like pattern in that, that piece right there. And it looks like intelligent pattern. Look at that. It comes up in 90 degree angles. It comes down. Let me make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. And it's across the, it's across the grain coming that way. Just what I see, just what I see, what I see, you see what you see. That's how I do it. That's the only way to do it. I tell you what, like I say, you can call me a kook, call me whatever you want. Like I said, you can debate the merits. All I say is you come here and you're looking at my channel, and I enjoy looking at pictures from Mars and telling you what I think I see on it. You know, what a hobby. And uh, like I said, we got a great subscriber group. A lot of people coming over to what's up in the sky.com, signing up, talking on the uh, forums. I saw Jane Doe on there. Ben's always on there talking, bad sneaker, whole bunch of good people. Um, 
I'm going to tell some of you guys, also, the Mars, Moon, Space website's getting, like, all sorts of the people from Facebook are putting their images like this up. So you got to check that stuff out. I'm going to get all that linked on here. Um, anyway, guys, much love to you, Roy. Thank you for sending your stuff over. Keep up the good work, man. And uh, I'm going to get you, you guys. Take it easy. Let's get this thing viral. You know, do it. hit the like, hit comment. That's how this stuff works. If you on face, especially if you're on YouTube, if you hit like, um, if you comment on it, you share it and stuff like that, it puts the videos more into YouTube to actually share it with other people that are into this stuff, you know. And eventually, it kind of disseminates itself out to the general public, especially if you share it on your your uh, you know Facebook and stuff like that. All right, guys, much love to you. Peace.